Verbal jabs and heated exchanges tonight as the two Republican candidates for the 5th Congressional District squared off in Colorado Springs. Caradio News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala joins us with more. Jonathan. James, tonight was the first debate in six years that incumbent Congressman Doug Lamborn has participated in. It was against a familiar foe, though, as retired Major General Bentley Rayburn hopes his third try is the charm in his run for Congress. If you fast forward past the rhetoric, I believe in this country. God bless America. And the similar social positions like on legal marijuana. I think we're going to regret the decision because it was a bad public policy. Two conservative Republicans showed the several dozen people inside Centennial Hall that there is a difference. What would be the difference if you had not gone to Washington to vote? Bentley Rayburn challenged Congressman Doug Lamborn's record and leadership. I feel like my record is second to none and is not just based on words, it's based on actions. Words were what Rayburn had to defend after a plagiarized speech that he gave in 2009 was brought up. I made a mistake, I owned up to it, and uh, quite frankly, um, uh, I admitted my mistake, and, uh, but I will make, tell you that it was certainly not intentional. Look at the facts. Incumbent Congressman Lamborn reminded voters about what he has brought to the district during his four terms in Congress. Uh, active duty military in the 5th Congressional District was about 27,000. Now it's 39,000. Almost a 50% increase. But Rayburn, a retired Major General, argued the military isn't enough for District 5. Colorado Springs had only 3,400 more jobs at the end of 2013 than it did at the end of 2000. Our economy has been very stagnant outside of the U.S. military. What was debated for a little over an hour may not have changed many minds inside this room, but it will help to separate the men in the minds of Republican voters on Election Day later this month. Both men will now have to try to quickly build on momentum from tonight's debate since it's the home stretch. The primary election is next Tuesday. In the Newsplex, Jonathan Petromala, Caradio News Channel 13.